What is up, YouTube? Speaking of YouTube, you guys, I need a team name for my subscribers or some kind of name. You know, everybody's doing that now, which I like because it makes it a little bit more personal. You know, like Pat Flynn, for example, does Team Flynn. I don't want to do team. I want something, I don't know, a little bit more, I don't know, different. But Team Irby anyway just doesn't sound right. My last name just doesn't go with anything. But I was thinking about like uh, Lee Nation because Lee, that's my initials. It's also the first two letters of my name or something like Lee Hive. But I feel like Lehigh, Beehive, Bayhive, whatever, it's so overdone. But if you guys have suggestions or what do you think of those names, put them in the, the description. But I really do want to come up with a team name just because it's, it's fun and kind of um, more personal. But anyway, let's get to the video, you guys. We're going to be talking about the Create Beta tool today, which is Amazon's new multi-product submission tool that they are rolling out slowly but surely so if you don't see this in your account yet stay tuned because it's coming to a browser near you what i'm going to do in this video is just go over it it's it's pretty cut and dry so if you haven't seen it yet you can see how it works and i'm just going to offer up some opinions and i'd love to hear what you guys think as well in the comments so using the tool is very very easy the first thing that i would recommend you do is come up and make sure you have selected or deselected the products you are or not going to upload to for example if you have germany selected and then you come down here and you fill out all your information. Let's say you're in the English, you're filling it out, filling it out. Then you'll come down here and you'll, you're like, how come I can't advance? It's because you've selected Germany and you didn't fill anything out for Germany. So if you're not going to upload a shirt for them, make sure you uncheck that. Cause that's what I did at first. And I thought something was broken. So you come up here and select the shirts that you're going to upload. And then you click the upload artwork button and then it's going to populate your shirt. So you go into each shirt, choose your colors, choose men, women, youth, choose your price. Now, I don't know if this was an extension that hasn't updated yet, but weren't there arrows up and down arrows here? Was that native to Amazon or was that an extension I was using? See, I use so many tools and extensions. Sometimes I don't know what's native to Amazon and what's not because a lot of these extensions haven't updated for the new look yet. So I don't know, but I missed those up and down arrows that used to be there. I think that might've been from an extension. I don't know. But anyway, so you go to each shirt, right? And add your info. And this is what I really like. When you enter your title, you no longer have to put long sleeve sweatshirt hoodie. Not that you necessarily had to do that because a lot of people argued you don't need to do that anyway because it's already in the back end metadata, you know, long sleeve hoodie or whatever, but I did it anyway. But now Amazon will add it to your title automatically. So for your title, you just put in your main keywords and then they will put long sleeve shirt hoodie for the appropriate shirt. I also like that it has, you know, the remaining characters for each of the fields. And I also like that everything is right here together, nice and concise, right? And then for your international, for German, now this is where I miss Merch Wizard. Obviously these extensions are gonna have to play catch up, but you used to be able to paste or they would translate your um, English content into German for you. And there would be a button right here. So it would automatically do it for you. So obviously they haven't caught up with this yet. The other thing, speaking of, of extensions, you know, you think about extensions like Merch Buddy, is it really helpful anymore now that we only have to fill out this information one time? You know, that was the big draw of Merch Buddy is that you could just copy for each product, but now, so hopefully he'll be able to come out with something that'll keep you know the product relevant because I really do like the product, but I don't really see much use for it. I know they did have some other features in the product, but I didn't really use many of them. I used mostly the copy paste function. So that's going to be interesting to see how that all shakes out. The one thing one of my students pointed out, which I thought was a, a great point, you cannot select men, women, and youth independently of the marketplace. So if you say, I don't want to upload to youth, or I do want to upload to youth, that applies to all the marketplaces. That could end up being an issue if, for example, you're using a keyword that is okay in English, but maybe it's derogatory when you translate that to German for kids. And there's no way to get around that other than just don't select youth for all the designs. So hopefully Amazon will come up with a way for us to check men, women, and youth independently of the marketplace. They probably weren't thinking about that. So that's something that they 
might want to consider. The other thing that I hope they do going forward, if Amazon is going to roll out all these new products, which I'm assuming they're about to do that, which is why they're, you know, setting up this create beta is let us have one file size for everything. I mean, we've got what six products now, and we've already got three different file sizes. We have the, the file size for the pop sockets. We have the file size for the hoodies and we have the file size for the rest of the products. Why can't they do like Redbubble and Tee Public and just have one size and then we can just resize everything once it's uploaded? To me, that makes sense, especially if they're going to be rolling out other products. I mean, are we going to have a different template for a tank top? Are we going to have a different template for a mug? You know, the other PODs seem to do that just fine. So hopefully Amazon will follow suit with that. But um, yeah, overall, you guys, I think this is a step in the right direction. We're going to save some mouse clicks. It took a little bit to get used to the layout. Just like I said in the beginning, make sure you select the products or deselect the products you're not gonna upload to because you might not be able to advance. But yeah, it's pretty cut and dry. So what do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments.